Hello, this is Farouk. The NX series continues, and in this video we will create a shareable library the NX way. NX makes creating shareable libraries super easy, making your code base more organized and testable. So let's get to it. Okay, the first step is to create an NX workspace. Of course, if you already have an NX workspace created and you want to add an additional application, you don't have to do this. It's just I'm just using a fresh workspace. I'm going to make an empty workspace and use the Angular CLI. And it's going to go through its machinations and install packages. All right, that's done. Now it's time to add Angular support to our workspace. So I'm going to open my Acme workspace in Visual Studio Code and go to the NX console extension and choose add and then type in narwhal and select narwhal forward slash angular and this will add the necessary tooling for angular apps I'm going to use jest and cypress in our workspace. And there it goes installing the packages and it's done. Now let's create our Angular application in the NX console extension. I click generate and then select Angular application. I'm going to give it the name of demo and use SCSS for the style and leave Cypress as our intent testing engine. I'm going to prefix it with ACM and Unit test runners just, and after verifying that the demo app will be created under apps folder, which it is, I click run, and it's going to ask me if I want to configure routing for this app. I will say no. And now it's creating the application, and there you see the bunch of files that it created. And so our demo app is ready. Now let's run the demo app to see if it works. I'm going to do an npm run start using the point and click method. Let it compile. It's running. Let me bring my Chrome browser window over to my primary monitor. And we see the NX demo app is in fact working. Now let's go ahead and modify it. To reiterate, this video is a demonstration of creating a shareable library using NX. The library will contain a simple navigation menu widget. We will replace all the content you see here with the navigation menu widget. As you will see, NX makes it easy to create shareable code. The navigation menu widget can easily be shared amongst multiple applications. So let's create our library. You create a library using the NX console, of course. Click Generate, then type lib and select Narwhal Angular Library. I'll name the library nav menu. And then as usual, use SCSS for styling. As you can see, the default location for libraries is a folder with the library's name under libs, in this case libs nav menu. I want to make the intent of the library more clear, so I can tell NX to create the library in a folder named UI under libs. That way I can put all my widgets in the UI folder, which will give consumers of the library a nicer experience when importing widgets. I do that by specifying UI for the directory. As you can see, the nav menu library will be created under libs UI now. Click Run. Our nav menu library has been created. Now expand libs UI nav menu source lib. And here is the nav menu module and it's created for us. Now let's add the nav menu component to this library. To create a component, I go to the NX console, click Generate, 
I type COM and select Schematics Angular Component. I'll name the component Nav Menu. Now here's the interesting bit. I'm going to tell NX to add this component to the UI Nav Menu project. When NX created the library, it added a project to the angular.json file. By selecting UI Nav Menu project here, NX will add the necessary declarations in the UI Nav Menu module. This also means I can test and build only the library I want. I can also make a code change in the nav menu component and run affected tests to run only the tests that are affected by the change. This is an awesome productivity boost provided by NX. Again, choose a CSS for style. I'll have NX save me even more time by setting change detection to on push. Check export so that this component can be used by other modules. Observe that the component will be created inside the nav menu library in its own folder and you can leave all other settings at the default. Click Run. Component created. As I said, NX created the component in its own folder. This is how NX helps with organizing your application. We look at the component and change detection is on push like we want. And here's our starter component template. If we take a look at the UI nav menu module, we can see that NX has added the nav menu component to the declarations and exports. Now we can add the nav menu to the app component. I'll open up the app component.ts file, and I'll import the nav menu from our nav menu UI module, or UI nav menu module. Notice the format of the import statement. By virtue of NX setting up a separate Angular project for the library, we can reference the module using the namespace at Acme, which is the name of the workspace, followed by the path. No more long relative file paths with the inordinate dot dot forward slash. Now we'll add the UI nav menu module to the imports and save the file. And the next step is to add the component directive to app components template. Open app.component.html and add the Acme nav menu component directive and save the file. Now I just want to run the app and make sure the component is rendered. This time I will type npm run start in the terminal window. Dragging the browser to my primary monitor, and the nav menu component is rendered. Great. Now let's modify the template to render a list of links. But before working on the nav menu template further, I want to make the title and menu items configurable. So I'll add title and items properties to the Acme nav menu directive in app component.html. Now let's go into app component.ts and set the items property. Let's make items an array of nav menu items. Now we need to define the nav menu items interface. We can create an interface using the NX console. Select generate, type INTER, and select the interface schematic. Interface name is nav menu item. The type is interface. This will add interface to the file name. This is optional, but because the TypeScript convention is to not prefix interfaces with the letter I, I'd like to know that this is an interface without having to open the file. Set the project to UI nav menu so that the interface is placed in the proper location, another way that NX is helpful. And I like to put my interfaces and classes in a models folder but this is entirely up to you. Unlike a library path, the path here is relative to the workspace root. Click Run. And interface is created. Open the interface file and add the title and item fields.
and save the file. Now we need to export the interface. That is done in the UI nav menu modules barrel file. Save index.ts. Now go back to app component and import the interface, which will resolve the compilation errors. And again, we can use the friendly namespace syntax. Oh, I forgot to add the input decorator in the nav menu component. Uh, there are two inputs one for the title and one for the nav menu items. I need to import nav menu item. setting a default value for the title just in case it's not set in the hosting component. And TSLint is complaining because the keyword string is redundant here. Alright, save the file. can alter the nav menus template so that it displays the title and menu items. Nothing fancy here. Just iterate through the menu items using ng4. Creating a list item for each with a link. And then bind href to item.target. And then bind the link text to item.label. Save the file. And go back to appcomponent.html and delete all of the content after our Acme nav menu component directive save the file. npm run start in the terminal. Let's see if this works. Uh, you may have already realized that I'm not rendering the title in the nav menu component. I'll cop out by saying that is an exercise left to the viewer. Hey, it works! And there you have it, a shareable library created the NX way. If you found this useful, please like this video. Even better, subscribe to my channel. That will certainly motivate me to make more videos like these. Thank you.